we're going to have a little tour of Mont Television now. Let's we'll see what it looks like. It's one of the smallest stations. Incidentally, here, try and wipe your lens with that before we keep on going any further. Yeah. All right. Easy. Right. This is our news and continuity studio. Uh, what you see here is the backdrop for the news. Um, just a big block of photograph shot with a lot of perspective. Don't think we're rich. That's a corner of an office, but everything be swiped from other offices that we have around this place. Um, uh, as opposed to normal uh, other studios, our announcers sit down. We have a remotely controlled camera. Uh, it has a twin lens turret, remote focus on it, and the announcer just sits down. And looks pretty, we hope. How's that? Sink. All right. Right. This is the master control area. You have an STO here who's responsible for three cameras. One is the camera that we've just seen, and he's got two more caption cameras. One transmits test card, which is on the monitor at the present moment, and the other one is used for interval captions, advertising captions, etc. and the clock. Uh, he also controls transmitters from here. He does all the operating from here, and apart from that, he's also responsible for videotape. We don't have anybody who looks after videotape except himself. Uh, coming over towards this area, we have a six-handed man who operates a small AB vision mixer, a remote start-stop panel for the uh, projectors and slide scanners. He also operates the uh, A-channel audio mixer and a spot master five-channel spot machines which is used for signature tunes, commercials, etc. Uh, that's the normal bank of monitors which you would have. Those are pretty old hat now. They're still valve jobs. They're about 13 years old. It's about time we got some new ones. And uh, over here, we do all the monitoring. We do audio monitoring all the time for record purposes, as well as we have a small Akai portable machine, which we record the news just in case somebody fluffs or somebody gets offended. So we have a complete picture and audio record of everything that goes out of the station. Right, we're ready. Can we turn down that sound off? That's all right. That's all right. Okay, here we go. This is the telecine area. We have two control consoles operated by one person. Uh, he runs four 16 millimeter projectors and two 35 millimeter slide projectors. He also runs the caption scanner. Uh, he, he does it. We use a pickler attachment to clean our films over here, although they've been pre-cleaned on a former filmatic to make sure that they're as clean as possible, but we also like to keep the pictures as clean as possible. We'll lubricate them while they're going out on the air. Um, uh, he runs all this. He's got positive negative facilities on this one because we run the new service in the negative and we don't process it at all, but it's all done electronically. He's got the usual vertical and horizontal switchovers. If he makes a boom, I hope he doesn't. He gets covered in the neck. And uh, the two little tiny cameras, if you can shoot that way, or you're going into this one, the two tiny cameras that you see here, this is for test car generation when you come over to this side, whereas the other one is for clock generation and uh, any other interval test kit patterns that we need. Uh, and over in the other corner, you see the two microwave links, which we use once the solid state one, whereas the old one is a pretty old crappy thing. But we run our own communication service here, complete, right up to the transmitter and the antenna. Uh, racks, again, as one can see, they're pretty old. Uh, the only solid state equipment that we have in here is home built. These are distribution amplifiers and a video patching panel. Uh, two stabilizing amplifiers for cleaning out the signals. One is on master control, the other one is on studio control. And uh, sync pulse generators. Uh, again, no digital stuff over here, just a lot of multi vibrators, but they still work. And associated distribution amplifiers to go with them. Camera control units for the industrial cameras and offer television receivers so we can monitor and either broadcast signals, foreign signals here after processing. And the camera control units for the image audio and cameras within the studio. Audio side, normal, in any television studio would be as poor as glasses. It's the next poorest thing we have here. Uh, we've got only a level devil, uh, which is a compressor cum limiter in its own. Uh, Chapel vampires, 
normal VO meter pageant panel and uh, just the normal bashing panel. Full stop. You're still recording? Yeah. Right, VTR area. We have two videotape recorders. One's a VR 1100, the one that's rolling now. The other one's in the standby mode is an RCA TR4B. Uh, again, this place is unmanned. It is run by the SDO or the CCO operator, whoever is available. Uh, we've had these machines in now for some time. One is Genlock. The RCA can be Genlock, Synclock. Whereas the other one's got only vertical lock facilities, uh, no editing facilities whatsoever. If anybody makes a boob, he gets clobbered in the head and we'll reshoot. Place is kept in a good environmental condition. Humidity control is up to 40% and temperature control is but perfect. That in actual fact was shot locally. Yeah, that piece of here. This is Studio control area. Usual bank of monitors. They're in actual fact converted television receivers. You have the producer, direct division mixer, his own personal assistant. He's one man. Just one man. He does everything. And you have one man who controls all the three cameras, the three image audio cameras, and one man for the audio side nobody at all to help him he runs up to three tape recorders and a gram unit and the eight wave audio mixer and now we roll into the studio so you can have a look at what it looks like and this is our studio uh it's equipped with three four and a half inch majority in cameras, uh, fully mobile. Skids aren't all that good. Lighting facilities is what you can see up to 50 kilowatts of lighting. We try and use pre recorded sound to get the best quality possible. Uh, we'll have the artists in a minute. If you want to shoot the artists later on, you can come in during the rehearsal. How did you get into television? Well, very simply, I came over here, I applied for an interview, went over to talk to the chief engineer. I knew sweet nothings about television. I was an amateur, a pirate at that particular time, and my, the chief engineer who interviewed me also was a pirate, and we covered on because two pirates got along better than anything else. Apart from that, he drank beer and I drank beer. <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah. What are your particular problems with work engineering here? The dampness? Chief engineer. <laughs> 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 right, that's his biggest problem. <laughs> hey, Menos, come over here. What you want? Come, come over, come over here. here. And then, Jesus. All right, don't make deals. Here we come with a super salesman. Uh, that's better. Yeah, as you can see, he's as slick as anything. So watch him. All right, say a few words to your American friends over here. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and he's as bad as that, believe you me. Okay. Greetings oh. from the island of Malta. <laughs>
Thank you. 